My dear brothers and sisters, I cannot adequately convey to you the joy I feel on this historic occasion. A remarkable and historic moment for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as President Thomas S. Monson, with the help of other leaders of the church and Italian dignitaries, turned the soil and turned the page to a new chapter of temple building in Rome, Italy. With regard to the temple which will be built upon this site, it means everything to Latter-day Saints. It unites families here and in eternity. The cool morning air was filled with a local choir's Italian rendition of The Spirit of God. The groundbreaking ceremony on Saturday, October 23rd, inaugurates the beginning of a construction period that will culminate with the completion of the Rome Temple in 2013. The temple site in the northeast section of the city is a 15-acre parcel of land situated on a gentle hill. The grove of olive trees on the site were once part of a family farm in this community called Setabagni. When the three-story granite temple is completed here, its grounds will also serve as a religious and cultural gathering place, which will include a visitor center and family history center. The reality of the temple, soon to come, is overwhelming for many of the faithful in Italy. I don't know how to express, actually, in, in word. Did you ever think that you would see it in your lifetime? I hoped for a long time, but uh, sometimes I doubt it. And we just shouted of joy, you know? We were uh, all hugging each other and all screaming for the joy, really. It was, was a dream realized in our life, really. As the religious and cultural center for the Roman Catholic Church, Rome's historic background, stunning architecture, and Christian foundation offers a glimpse into the past drawing millions of visitors to the city every year. It's with that sense of understanding and respect that brings a newfound appreciation for Italian Latter-day Saints as they anticipate the day when a temple will be a permanent part of Rome's unrivaled setting. Italian people uh, have the desire to, to know better about our church. And uh, the mass media will uh, speak about the temple and our church in many, many ways. The temple was announced by President Monson in October 2008. As the first temple in Italy and the 12th in Europe, the Rome temple will be served by more than 23,000 Latter-day Saints living throughout the country. But the Rome temple will also be served by members who live in Greece, North Africa, and the Balkan region. And for those in attendance on this day, a prophet's invitation to be ready. Let this day be a day of rededication in our lives as it is a day of dedication for this ground.